<coughs> it should be called the uh, fall winter pickups, but uh, since we're moving apartment, so I'm trying to make this a little fall winter pickup plus uh, what I've been going through recently video. So as you can see, it's really messy now. A lot of stuff just arrived today. If you're into like interior stuff, you might look at it and be like, oh, this kind of resembles the end of Mule and Mr. Light. It does. Uh, the reason why we bought this is, is because uh, uh, Lin wanted the uh, end of Mule and Mr. one. And uh, I, I like this vintage one better. And uh, also like this is in a more reasonable price. And then uh, the other thing we got is this, uh, in Japanese we call it a shoki bana. I am, um, I think it's just a cupboard in like English, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but so look, there's a so yeah, like it's going to take a while for us to get into like the video, but it's not my fault. Hi, yeah, but it's not my fault, right? There's a lot of things happening. Uh, so, guys, this is not the doorbell that you all just heard. The last doorbell was uh, our interior designer checking the walls because we're going to repaint all these for like a more grayish colorway and this is what just arrived uh i think it's our table the casino table uh east by east west i think hi this is our bubble tea wow the uh seventh delivery man of the day our bubble tea finally something to be happy about <laughs> Life is hard, right? It's not that easy. This is supposed to be a pickups video, but technically buying tables also count as pickups, right? It's like the things I bought recently, so recent pickups. After hectic VRs of a lot of things arriving, I bought in a lot of stuff. Ta-da! This is our new table. Yeah, it's measured in the casino, XC, whatever. East by East West, vintage low table. This is black, the backpack is black, it's everything black. We're going to paint the walls gray again, but our interior designer just left. So yeah, a lot of stuff to be done, but um, yeah, we're good for now. So like, I guess we can uh, proceed to the video, to the actual video content, which is the fall winter pickups. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, the first item that I'd like to show you guys is this Rico and Sherlin jacket. I'm going to film a b-roll for everything. Thing, so uh, don't worry. I guess uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram or like other social media platforms, you might see me wearing this silhouette quite a lot. You wouldn't be too unfamiliar with the silhouette. It's called the slave jacket. I think the sleeve jacket is probably more popular around the 2010s uh, Rickowns, and especially Rickowns Dark Shadow actually. This is mainline, but I know that uh, Rickowns Dark Shadow have put out the silhouette several times before. And we have like another two uh, back home. One is uh, where Lin wears, uh, where Lin Chang wears uh, more often is the uh, denim black one, the sleeve jacket, and like the other one is uh, the body is more like an object dyed stone colorway, and then like the sleeves are leather. So this is the Sherman version. I'm just going to throw it on for you guys. Uh, by the way, like I, I think this is from 20, 2010 or 2011. I think there's like a collection called Mountains. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's from that collection. What I really like about this piece is that uh, the buttons over here. I don't see this detail on any other uh, Rayquan slave jackets, so I guess this is quite special. Quality of these snaps are also really good. As you can see, like the sounds are uh, really satisfying, and it's really warm. So definitely like a uh, essential for me for the winter, since I always wear like the uh, slave jacket so I, and now there's like a winter version. So I was like, wow, amazing, right? Perfect piece. Then we move on to the next item that I purchased recently which is the label under construction uh, trousers. Uh, not much to say about this. I've never purchased anything from this brand before. It's my first time. I think it retails around so which is uh, which is expensive, but it's not that expensive for like a brand that belongs to like, you know, the avant-garde circle. Um, I bought this because I'm always like really attracted by like, these uh, overlock details on clothes in general so like i have like another leather jacket inside my closet that i'm going to show you later the incarnation one also with the overlock so um i, I wouldn't compare these to like characters and pole trousers but like if you just want like a similar look and these are like the perfect trousers to go for they are uh kind of slim but like they're not skinny as you know like uh, some saint laurent 2013 eddie so main trousers so like it's a it's a good fit it's a nice colorway. I'm still thinking about what to wear with these. 
so yeah, uh, anyways, uh, that's it for these trousers. We move on to the next item. Okay, so the next item on this list is a brand that I guess most people wouldn't imagine me to ever buy into. It's Givenchy. I think this is um, their uh, painted crackling denim jacket from uh, the first Matthew Williams collection. Uh, like Matthew Williams debut show at Givenchy. They, these come in a beige colorway and a pink colorway, I think. Uh, I've never worn them outside before, so these are technically like they're just uh, basically brand new. And like the reason why I didn't do it because it's super stiff. I'll try it on and you guys will know what I mean. So when I first saw these jacket in the store, oh, by the way, I got these on sale, of course. But, but when I first saw them in the store, I was like, okay, uh, th these remind me of like the Martin Margiela, like, uh, year 2000 uh, line zero, the artisanal line ones, the painted Levi's. And um, yeah, these are also painted. But then like I was talking to the staff and he was like, okay, like they painted it and then like they bake it, bake, like literally baked this uh, jacket three times. And then like, this is why it became so stiff. And, and then I was like, okay, so if this is this stiff, then how do people wear it? And he's like, oh, after a few times of wear, it's going to get softer. And I was like, okay, cool. And I'm going to buy it. Guess what? I <laughs> I, I bought it, I wear it at home at least five times now, trying to break it in. It never works, it never works, it's a super stiff. So this is a cool jacket, um, it looks good. Uh, how they baked it is cool. It's cool that it's super stiff, but it's super not practical. Like you can't, I can't really wear this in real life, you know? So I was like, okay, it's cool, but it's not for me. I like comfortable stuff. So uh, I'm trying to sell it. So I'm selling it currently on Seaquasit, which is uh, me and my friend's flea market, online flea market platform. Guys, okay, so the next item is a coat from my friend's brand called Lao uh, Fugo. It's from Shanghai, China. And um, big shout out to them for sending me a care package of not just this coat. I, mean, I have like other jackets at home, but I only brought this one today. So a few details that I want to stress about this is First of all, if you look at the tag inside, it's like four spikes, right? This actually echoes back to the four spikes you see over here. Like one, two, three, four on the chest pocket. And since we're talking about pockets, other thing I really like about this coat is how many pockets they have. So you have like two chest pockets already. You have like another medium pocket over here, and then like a huge pocket over here. So as a person who always, you know, carries a lot of stuff when I'm going out, you know, keys, I carry two phones on the regular, uh, wallets and uh, business cards, you know, in Japan people still use business cards. It's really important to have a lot of pockets, especially in the winter. So it's like, it comes in really handy. The fit is also really nice. Quality is also super nice. It's really heavy. So it's like really for the winter. Please go and uh, support my friend's brand. Guys, the next item is this Rick Owens blazer from 2004. I uh, saw my friend on Instagram. He has like the exact same jacket. And then like one day, I think he wore like the exact same shades that I have. But yeah, uh, let me try this on for you guys. I've always loved Rick Owens uh, blazer, but I just never had like, I never came across one that really makes me feel like, oh, I want to pull the trigger on this. Because like the really, you know, special looking ones, they're like super expensive. And like the affordable ones, they, they don't look as cool. But like this one's like right in the middle. So it looks really nice, right? It looks okay, right? Ta-da. The size is perfect. What I've noticed is that, correct me if I'm wrong again, but I think in 2018, like they made something similar. Like they also have like these, uh, you know, other fabrics attached to the back of a record suit. Like, let me uh, show some pictures at this point, since I really don't know how to describe this. But I was like, I, I always knew that Rick Coins, like they, he, he have like this thing where like, he have like his older designs and he kind of like put his new touch on it, like after 10 years, you know? Like for example, like the, the vomit ones, right? They're from like an earlier collection, but then like in like around 2016, he have like a, you know, new version, like a re-edition of that, where like he puts like a more modern touch on like the same silhouette. And I feel like this happened to this one too, in like 2018. So uh, I have to find some evidence to back up my argument. The last item is actually in the closet. You know, I walk over. Uh, first, so last but not least, for this video, I have this absolutely amazing leather coat, horse leather by the way, from a brand called Incarnation. 
Like the quality is absolutely amazing. The pockets double layered, so like one of them with the zipper, so like your stuff doesn't fill out. And then one of them is just like for your hands, like it's really comfortable ones. So like the overlock detail. This is kind of like resembling the character Christian Paul. I'll give Kara Christian Paul uh, credit for this. Other than these stuff. Oh, probably the backpack. Let me show, show you all the backpack. This is nothing cool, but this is what I carry to work every day. So I, as you can see, my computer is still inside. <laughs> Let me just show you how it works. So, and the meal and Easter bag. Literally a really simple backpack. We're at the undercover showroom today. So uh, they're presenting their 2023 women's work collection. And uh, I'm going to show y'all some of uh, our favorite pieces from the collection. So what Lin Chan is trying out right now is one of the knits. I told her to pick her favorite and this is what she picked. Uh, I can tell like the main reason is that she don't want to take off like any other clothes. So this is like the only thing that matches what she's already wearing today, but it's all good. The fit itself is really nice. We talked to uh, Asumi earlier, the PR. She told me that this is one of the looks that they didn't end up like including in the runway because they already have 49 looks. We have this MI1 over here. The front, it looks really, uh, you know, just normal with two cuts near your shoulders. But then on the back, it's like a whole dress. They really captured both like the military aspect and like the elegant aspect of undercover. Still kept like the MA1 look, the bomber look, with like the orange interior. But then on the back it's like a, you know, a whole elegance kind of dinner dress-ish kind of stuff. Other than that, oh, I'd like to show you guys this. So this is something that I am likely going to purchase for myself this season. It is an undercover knit, like you can't really see it quite clearly over here, but look at the tag. It's kind of like a spider web knit, almost like the number nine archives one, but this one's like more sheer. And it's almost impossible to imagine like how, how to wear it because it's... I feel like I can break this any second, I really don't want to do that. Oh, by the way guys, since uh, we're at the undercover showroom today, guess what I'm wearing? This is a coat from uh, 1996, autumn winter undercover collection called Wired. So this is like the coat before Jun Takahashi's undercover debut. I really like old undercover stuff too, you know. This piece itself, it's more than 20 years old. So it's literally older than me, but it's still extremely fashionable. And if a piece of fashion, a garment could last, let's say, over 20 years of time and still look cool, you know it's a good design. These are like the ripped open um, floral suits. These are not actual flowers, these are fabrics. Guys, so I guess that's it for Undercover today. Really nice showroom. Uh, I'm glad that I was uh, able to visit. Nice collection, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. So before we end today's video, there is this one uh, brand that I'd like to introduce to you guys. Uh, I just received um, their parcel like literally 10 minutes ago, and I was uh, super excited. Uh, my house is a mess right now because the construction workers they just came through so like as you can see on the floor it's all these uh covering ups and, like some of the wallpaper have been changed to like uh, more painful wallpapers but anyways back to the main topic the brand that i like to introduce to you guys so in case you guys haven't heard of it before it's called brand called professor e it's a brand from taiwan it's more uh, artisanal style more calm um, silhouettes and uh, just a lot of really cool styling and all that you might have seen their Instagram before if you're on social media quite frequently uh, so this is something that came with the parcel it's to write uh, the uh, items uh, contained in a parcel so uh, the 20 the 2022 uh, fall winter Napoleon coat and the one-off jacket so I'll start with the Napoleon coat it's a really cool item so here we go this is the uh, Napoleon coat super warm uh, wool blend with a polyester fabric. I really like the details on their tag. So this is the first one, uh, the size and the material. There's a second tag, really interesting fabric with a cool graphic over here. And the third one is their brand tag, I guess, slightly wrinkled. And then two buttons for like, uh, in case some of the buttons fells off during the uh, wearing experience. Okay, um, so this is the fit of the uh, Napoleon coat. The length is perfect. I'm wearing a size 46, which is uh, the small, smallest size. 
177 and uh, I think it fits me like a glove. A few details on the silhouette. It's like um, there's a flapping layer over here that kind of opens up. We have our pocket inside too. Quite a uh, big pocket over here. Comes in handy. I uh, figured out earlier in front of the mirror that like it doesn't look quite good on me with the t-shirt on. Maybe like a white shirt or anything more elegant than a vintage black t-shirt will be really nice but I just moved in and I don't have anything like that so please bear with this. Obviously with a, since it's a Napoleon coat, buttons are essential. You see uh, over here, the lining over here, uh, everything is really well made. The quality is uh, almost perfect. Two buttons in the front so you can button it up when it gets cold. So uh, yeah, so I guess this is the first item. So the coat was the first item, and um, as mentioned earlier, there is a one-off jacket, which is this. I think uh, this is called the burn um, shirt. So you can see, uh, the first moment I uh, opened this parcel, my uh, focus was on the fabric. So as you can see, it's uh, embroidery, kind of almost Chinese traditional fabric, but on top of that, it's burnt and it's distressed, so there's holes all over the place. You can see it most clearly over here. This is, uh, this is all burnt. The uh, darker color is the marks that uh, the uh, fire might have left on this piece. So really, really interesting fabric. For those who, uh, who are probably uh, Chinese or Chinese cultured, I don't think you guys would be too unfamiliar with this silhouette. The tie-ups on the front instead of buttons and the sleeves also slit open uh, on the edge and the body too slit open on the bottom so it kind of flaps out a little bit it's a really cropped fit and guys i guess that's it for today's video this is the actual ending of today's video it might be quite long i don't know but before we end this if you have some time feel free to uh, leave a comment in like the comment section because for the next video, we're doing a Q&A video. So just feel free to leave all your questions and uh, the things you want to know about me. It can be something that's personal. It could be something that's not. It could be uh, topics about fashion. It could be topics about life. It could be topics about food. It can be uh, how to paint your walls since I'm painting my walls recently. So just feel free to ask any questions. And um, that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time.